morning everybody what is going on it is your boy darion coming to y'all live with another video it is the spotlight sports talk and the silver and black podcast shout out to all the subscribers that has subscribed to the youtube page if this is your first time ever being at our youtube page i would suggest that y'all subscribe hit that bell button and get the latest news in all raiders news and all sports but we're here and we're back with another <laughs> Las Vegas Raiders I was about to say Oakland But Las Vegas Raiders video Now we all know that free agency Is definitely came down to the wire today And a lot of things definitely came out And you know the Raiders didn't make too much Of a splash but we did What we had to do as far as position needs Now what I can say is that I'm really impressed on what the Raiders did And you know the tampering part The legal tampering part of The NFL free agency Now the most likely most people Most of them not going to be able to sign until actually Wednesday when the new NFL season starts so with that being said y'all let's get into the first person and let's get into who did we get in the end uh, of the free agency for the Las Vegas Raiders now the first one I have to go with and we definitely addressed it was the linebacker position it is one of the weakest positions that we had for our Las Vegas Raiders and with the Las Vegas Raiders struggling there we end up you know releasing Tahir Whitehead out of the actual picture and releasing him and making him a free agent and now we was able to get Nick Kowalski from the Chicago Bears now um, the details are officially out with him and on Monday morning they did shortly after they opened the free agent negotiation period the former Bears linebacker agreed to terms with the Las Vegas Raiders now oftentimes the first wave of the free agent contracts are sizable and the ones that really was not at that time but it was more friendly it was more on the friendly side of things I can say so Linebacker Nick Kowalski did get a deal with the Raiders for $21 million and $13.5 million in guaranteed money and more available incentives does come with that contract. Now that three years, $21 million with the $13.5 million guarantee is not bad for a 26-year-old linebacker who had a career of an upswing. Uh, for compensation's sake, it looked like the contract for Tahir Whitehead but I can say this, before he was released, he just didn't live up to the money. And I think Nick actually lived up to the money. Now, two years ago, Whitehead signed a three-year, $19 million deal with us. Just $2 million below what the Raiders just gave Kowalski. Now, with Tahir Whitehead, he was set to make $7 million over the next year. But the Raiders basically swapped out a 30-year-old, one-year player for Kowalski for two more years after. Which Kowalski is 26 years old and a little bit younger than Tahir Whitehead. So, yes, I do agree with this uh, With this here. Now, Kowalski becomes the 19th highest paid off-the-ball linebacker. That is before a few free agent linebackers are signed at their deal and potentially jump ahead. Now, I do want to see us go get another linebacker. And the reason why I wanted to go get another linebacker, because we're going to pick one up in the draft and just to help us out a little bit more. So Corey Littleton was something that was on the radar as well for the Las Vegas Raiders. But at the same time, I do feel like getting Nick Kowalski is a sleeper free agent. A lot of people didn't talk about him. He played very well for the Chicago Bears last year. And I really like what this guy brings to the table. Hopefully one day I can actually break down the film and show you what his ability are and what he could do to actually help the Raiders at this time so thank you welcome to the Raider Nation Nick Kowalski linebacker former Bills three years 21 million dollars 13.5 million in guaranteed and recently not too long ago like a couple hours ago we did get another free agent signing and I've seen this coming even before the Tom Brady's talks I've seen this coming for a long time Time now and I'm happy that we actually able to get him as a quarterback Marcus Mariota the former first number one overall pick and the former Tennessee Titans starting quarterback until he lost his job to Ryan Tannehill after going to 
two and four. Now, the Las Vegas Raiders did find their backup quarterback, and according to Mike Grafalo, the NFL Network's team, I can definitely say it was a, was very close to signing the deal with the former number two, not number one, number two overall pick in Marcus Mariota, who has was you know was benched within the favor of Ryan Tannehill last season. And Tannehill end up getting the Titans to the AFC Championship game. Now, the Raiders are pursuing the close out deal with Marcus Mariota, and the sources says that he was uh it was Mike Mayock's number one ranked QB when he was with the NFL Network when Mike Mayock used to cover him back in 2015. And, you know, finally we got him on the roster. So the Raiders have to say that, you know, they were searching for a high-end backup quarterback for Derek Carr, which Mariota started 61 games in his NFL career, but he's just still 26 years old, y'all. The guy is, Marcus Mariota is still young. And during his five NFL career, Mariota has a passer rating of 89.6 and averages 7.5 yards per attempt. While neither of those numbers are outstanding, but we can definitely certainly get a good enough backup quarterback for Derek Carr. And it's also reasonable to think that, you know, the best he, he can be the he still can, he still has the best you know football ahead of him at this time and still ahead of him averaging a passer rating of 92.3 over the last two seasons now it would be fascinating to see if Mariota can fit in the John Gruden's West Coast offense now his ability to use his legs is very intriguing to the Raiders and I have to say that um, it's very intriguing to John Gruden as the head coach now but Mariota does often you know, give some insurance if anything happened to the Raiders franchise passer, which is Derek Carr. We will continue to definitely update more information that comes out available for Marcus Mariota. Now, I think this was a great pickup for the Las Vegas Raiders, knowing that we needed a backup quarterback. In the last six years that Derek Carr was there, we had not had no competition for him at that quarterback position everybody that was in there was not great enough to take Derek Carr's spot now we might have a little bit more competition which I think Marcus Mariota won't be able to take Derek Carr's spot but at the same time I still feel like that Marcus Mariota could come in and be competition to Derek Carr knowing that Derek Carr don't like to use his legs as much as Mark Marcus Mariota do and we have to think about it uh John Gruden did love Marcus Mariota he loved him at the Gruden quarterback camp and Mike Mayotte loved Marcus Mariota coming out of the draft at University of Oregon so with that being said y'all I really do like these two pickups and I would give y'all the latest news in all Raiders news and all sports news as well but I do like the fact that we got these two signees for the Las Vegas Raiders to give us you know positions that we need and more depth that we need at those positions but let me know what y'all think about this video let me know what you think about the signings of the las vegas raiders and what they got with nick kowalski and marcus mariota let me know what you think comment like and subscribe to the channel it is the spotlight sports talk and the silver and black podcast and i'll see y'all in the next video peace